Hey viewers, hey subscribers, welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. This evening, I am going to do um, a twin flame energy update because we are going into the new year. And um, I'd like to see the energy because it's been a little while since I've done a uh, divine masculine, divine feminine type of spread um, to kind of ask spirit what is the, the mutual energy between the two. What is going on right now? Tonight, though, I'm going to specifically focus on our divine masculine energies, okay? Um, because for whatever reason, I have been picking up a strong masculine energy. I don't know what that's about, but let's find out what's going on with, with the divine masculine. Let's find out what he wants to say to his divine feminine. Because I know we just had Christmas, right? We're going into New Year. Um, a lot of you guys are in separation from your divine masculine, from your divine divine counterpart. Excuse me. So it'd be really interesting to see what's going on in his environment for the feminines. To find out what's up with this dude. Like, what is he going through right now? Why is he, you know, not communicating or being hesitant right and what might his action be towards you by the end of january going into february let's see you know or what what might his actions be towards you going into the new year basically okay for those of you who feel like you are in a twin flame connection let's ask spirit spirit what is the mutual energy between the divine feminines and the divine masculine right now what is their mutual energy at this time? What's the mutual energy between the two? For those of you who are wondering what deck I am using, I am using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed Wonderful deck. Absolutely positive energy, positive vibes every single time I use this deck. And the cards are absolutely beautiful, the imagery in these cards. Okay? Let's see. What is, what is the mutual vibe between the two spirit oh page of water page of cups so the mutual energy between you two divine feminine and divine masculine is um kind of a childlike energy when it comes to expressing your emotions you do want to express them you do want to let someone know how you feel that's the mutual energy How, what's going on with the divine masculine? What's in his headspace right now? When he thinks about, as he's thinking about his divine feminine, what's in his headspace? So he show us the messages from the divine masculine. What is he? What is he thinking right now? When he thinks about his divine feminine, what is he thinking? Let's see it. Whoa. Let's see. Oh, wow. Divine Feminine. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is he thinking about with Divine, divine Feminine Spirit? What is he thinking about her? Ooh, okay. All right. Already, <laughs> already divine feminine looks like a uh, divine masculine has a lot of thoughts going on in his head. Let's see, first mean that uh, one right now he's in hermit mode. He's see how that door there's keys hanging up above this door, right? Y'all see them keys? This door is locked shut, bolted. Okay, he's in hermit mode right now, he's probably not speaking to you. Because he's going through a lot. And I feel like he could be going through a tower, tower moment right now. What's going on with him? When he thinks about you, he's thinking that he can't come out of his hermit mode. Um, because of some mind games that he played with you in the past, Divine Feminine. Please let me know down in the comment section if this reading resonates for you. Divine Masculine played a lot of fuckery 
a lot of mind games with you. Um, whether he he would play the push and pull, the narcissistic type of shit, where he would only contact you when it was convenient for him. He may leave your texts unread for days on purpose, and then when you call him out on it, act like he had no clue what you were talking about. Like, this kind of childish shit. Um, or always give an excuse about how, what he thinks about you. He thinks that you know you know him, you know him like you peep game right you see his games queen of air this is the queen of swords she's wise you see the owl right there on her shoulder represents wisdom she's very wise and this woman can see through shit from a mile away and she will cut it off she will call you out um he's afraid that you're going to call him out on his shit and you know what king of air king of swords He's going to have to be honest and tell the truth. And he's going to have to be transparent. That's what he's thinking right now. Like, damn, I really fucked up. Now I'm going to have to tell the truth. I'm going to have to tell the truth. Tell her the truth. I'm going to come out of, have to come out of hermit mode and be honest with divine feminine about some of my fuckery. Let's ask some more questions. Spirit, why was divine masculine playing games with divine feminine, feminine in the recent past? Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. Tell us more. Tell us more. Why did you play games with the divine feminine in the recent past? Tell us more. Tell us more. Whoa, okay. Divine Feminine. Spirit is telling me that the reason that he played the mind games in the recent past with you was because he was still childish. See this child? This is a child. Page of Earth. He really didn't have anything to offer you. He wanted a new opportunity with you. However, you see that how little that damn pinnacle is on the end of that stick there? He didn't have very much to offer you to begin with. So he thought he would play with you, which is wrong. And he knows he's wrong, which is why now he's in his King of Swords energy because he, he wants to come forward and tell you the truth about his, his fuckery. Right? So when he came out of that type of energy, he's also King of, king of Earth, King of Pentacles. He could have children. He could definitely be a baby daddy type individual, right? He could be a father. He could have children. Um, he could be a Dusty. I'm just saying, y'all. Like, I feel like he was in that player type of energy, like, you know, I'm the shit type of attitude, which is why he played the mind games with you. He didn't take you seriously, Divine Feminine. Why? Here we go. Temptation. Right here. He, maybe he had other options. Maybe he was dealing with someone else. And this is what I feel. You know, that's a woman. That The uh, the stem of that apple is a woman. She's covered in the leaves on the top. If you look at it closely, she's covered in the top. He was being tempted by someone else. He was entertaining someone else, which is why he left you on hold. Had you in a damn third party situation. And not only is this, not only that was there temptation. Temptation is devil energy. It's toxic. He was operating from a very narcissistic type of low vibrational frequency at the time that he was playing these games with you in the past. Why? Because he thought he was the shit. And then he thought with the eight of cups, see how this person is moving forward, that back is turned. He thought that you would never leave him. He thought he had you. One more card, please, sir. Please confirm the message. He, he thought... He thought that you would not leave him. <laughs> he had the audacity with the ace of fire. Okay, y'all look. Y'all see that little naked fairy on the top of there? And you see how bright this is burning? Oh, this was his sexual energy. 
this is his sexual energy. And he, he felt like he had the upper hand because he had that good good, right? He thought, all I gotta do is just finesse my way back in. She ain't going nowhere. He thought he had you. Ooh, woo, whoever this masculine was, he had a lot of damn ego, a huge ego. I hope, his, I hope his sexual energy was as good as his ego. Let's see. Um, so, moving forward now. How does he feel about, how does he feel about you, Divine Feminine? How does he feel about Divine Feminine? Nine of Fire, that you're guarded. Nine of Wands. You're guarded. You're trying to, you're trying to move forward in your own direction right now. Regard it. See how her back is turned? And she's focused on what's glowing in front of her. Focused on progress in front of you, Divine Feminine. That's what he feels that you're you're not even focused on him no more. You're not even paying him no attention. The magician. How he feels. But you're manifesting something new. I think and honestly I feel like he's scared. I feel like he's scared of that two of water like you might be manifesting a new connection a new interest Ooh, divine feminine whoa whoa how is this divine masculine feeling about divine feminine right now spirit trust the messages how is he feeling about her mm. oh my goodness divine feminine he wants to talk now can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. That's how you feel it right now. Who wants to make that leap of faith? Yep, I feel it. I feel it. He wants to come towards you. Oh, yeah. Seven of water. Because he knows you got options. You got options. Look how she's looking at them, them seashells up there. As she's sitting in the middle of the ocean, looking up around her, like, mm, which fish am I gonna pick today? Hit plenty of fish, y'all. <laughs> if divine masculine feels like you might be on plenty of fish, that is the message I'm getting. Like, y'all might be dating, you might be back on the scene, sexy as hell, he's missing out. Like, I low key feel like he's jealous. <laughs> oh, goodness. Tell us what might divine masculine's actions be towards the divine feminine going into the new year. What might his actions be? Woo! Ten of five! Ten of wands! Ten of wands. Mm -mm -mm. He's going to focus on being more responsible, I feel. Typically, this is my drama card. He's going to try to focus on getting out of the drama and being handling his responsibilities, which means if he owes you, he's going to man up, I feel. He's going to try to man up. Divine, feminine. Be ready for it because you might get a phone call from him talking about some, oh, I just want to talk. You know, I miss you. I love you. All that shit. He, he's, ready to, he's ready to be the man that he should have been now. That's how he feels. That's that what that this is what could possibly happen going into the new year. That's a possible outcome. Spirit. What actions might divine masculine take towards the divine feminine? He's ready to get his shit together now. He's ready to be he's ready to get rid of all the drama. Be more responsible. Tell me more. So for those of you, those divine feminines of mine that have been asking me questions about they're wanting something new, it looks like your divine masculine might be coming back in. Just saying. Five of wands. He doesn't want any more conflict, I feel, with the five of wands there. He look, look how she's sitting there. She's like her face is focused and intent. Like he doesn't want to argue. He just wants, okay, whatever. All right. You want to talk it? We can talk about it. Whatever. The, okay. Like he's agreeable right now. Uh oh. Is he sick? Spirit? Is he sick? Um. 
two of wands. He's planning. See, look, divine feminine, divine masculine is planning. What is up his sleeve? Spirit, what actions might you take towards divine feminine by the end of, by the end of January? Going into the new year. Four of air. Contemplation. Contemplation and also healing. He's planning on healing and recuperating from all the drama in the past that he's created. I also feel like he needs to heal so that way he can come towards you in a better light. What else? What might his actions be towards the end of January? Towards the divine feminine. What might his actions be? Spirit, what might his actions be? Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Healing so that he can make an investment. So he's going to try to focus on his own healing, which is really beautiful, Divine Masculine. I'm so proud of you, but you really want to heal. You want to heal the relationship so that now you can be a better man and invest where you should have been investing all this time. Because Seven of Pentacles is all about, Seven of Earth is all about investments. Now he wants to put in the, the work. Yeah. He's going to be with, oh, King of Wands, King of Wands. He's going to try to win your heart. His heart chakra is activated. You see it there? I feel like he's really, he's really going to try to just, you know, charm you. Charm you when you back over. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, my dear divine feminines, that has been your divine masculine update. Please take the messages as they resonate. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know. Let me know if you hear from the Divine Masculine, what he has to say towards the end of January, how things play out. Because this is the current energy right now, which is a really beautiful energy that he's in. After all of the mess that he stirred up in the recent past, he's ready to heal. He's making plans to move forward and to invest into the relationship with you. That's beautiful. Question is now, do you want him back? Here, let's talk, let's dig a little deeper. Spirit, does the divine divine feminine want divine masculine back at this point? How does she feel? Queen of Cups. Oh, you still love your boo boo. Divine feminine. You still love your boo boo. You still got feelings for him. How does she feel about him now? How does she feel about him right now? Mm mm. How does she feel about him? Oh, Ten of Cups came up. Like there could, you do want happiness with him. You do want the overall end all be all with him. Family, picket fence, dog, house, marriage. You want it. You do. You have feelings for him. Okay, that's, that's good. Oh, but the devil popped up. Okay, y'all. He could be a Capricorn, but I feel like you feel like he's still in his narcissistic energy. Like he could be still, you know. In some type of soul tie or soul contract with someone that he hasn't completely let go of. Um, you also feel like he wants to come towards you. We have a full card here. He wants to take a leap of faith. That's how you feel about him right now. Um, but you also feel like he's 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 a fool for what he how he treated you in the past. And you do feel the reconciliation because the judgment came up here. But he wants to reconcile with you. Mm -hmm. He wants a victory. Ace of Swords. Wow. My feminine, you got him pegged. You know, you know this man. Yeah, you feel like uh, you needed to walk away for your own sanity, for your own sanity and peace of mind. Tell me more, spirit. How's the divine feminine feel about him? Yeah, so that you could focus on your own pentacles, your own wealth, your own self love, self care with the queen of pentacles here. Wow. Okay, divine feminine. Well, what's the advice, spirit? What is the advice? For our divine feminines. Show me. Show me, show me. What's the advice? Hold on. All right, y'all. Let's see. Oh, forgiveness. Forgiveness. That is the... 
forgiveness, y'all. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So manifest whatever it is that you're wanting, Divine Feminines, please. Like I've been telling people in my comment sections on my videos, Divine Feminines that reach out and make a comment on, on the videos. You focus on what you want and the universe will work in your favor. Manifest what you want. You attract what you give off. Right. So if you're putting positive energy out into the universe, it's going to come back to you. If you do good things, if you donate, if you show care and concern for other people, that positive energy is going to come back to you double. Right. All right. Divine Feminines. Well, thank you so very much, as well as Divine Masculines for watching my channel. Please hit that notification bell. Subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. And until next time, thank you. for.